And uh, Paul Magula says the VBS charges against him were untrue and were baseless. The former PRC director has dismissed reports that he was involved in fraudulent activities in the VBS Mutual Bank saga. He's been testifying at the PIC inquiry. Mr. Commissioner and members, please allow me to state right at the outset that I request the commissioners, uh, Commission's indulgence in presenting my submission to the Commission insofar as it is deepened, deemed appropriate as per the Commission's terms of reference, that I do not so, do so having regard to other ongoing investigations that are in this regard, in this uh, VBS story, and proceedings in relation to which I do not wish to prejudice my rights. Nevertheless, I would like to categorically and emphatically state that the PIC took issue with me on VBS Mutual Bank after I already had issues with the CEO and the CFO and executive head of HR of the PIC. And it was added to the disciplinary charges preferred against me when I already was on suspension during my disciplinary, the disciplinary hearing. It is undeniable fact that I was a board member at VBS Mutual Bank for a period as, for a, period as a shareholder representative of the PIC when the bank began to have problems. I am aware that there are ongoing criminal investigations by the South African special, uh, Police Special Investigative Units and they are at an advanced stage to bring the facts to the fore. I want to use this opportunity to clear my name and on issues that were reported in the media. As a former board member of VBS Mutual Bank representing PIC, I take responsibility that what happened to the, at the bank was wrong. But also, there is no way I could have known what was happening beyond the misrepresentation made to the board through, an, through audit reports that were presented to me as a board member and also as an executive head of risk within the PIC. For example, the board will pro be provided with board packs that will provide the status report of an organization, both for operational and financially. There had always been commentary from management that all is fine and that it's as it is. Periodically, both auditors, that is internal audit and external auditors, will provide that all is well. It is public knowledge that the same reports that were presented to the board were reports presented to the South African Reserve Bank, the bank's regulatory authority, with representation which turned out in the end to be false. I have never participated in any legal fraudulent activities during my tenure as a VBS board member. Some of the things like fictitious deposit, fraudulent, uh, fraudulent withdrawals, bribes, etc., that are said to have happened at VBS, I got to know them, them about when I went before the Prudential Authorities Forensic Investigators. I'm willingly, I'm willing and ready to subject myself and cooperate to cooperate with the law enforcement agencies, I humbly request that I be permitted to, beyond the foregoing to reserve my rights. That is what I would like the commission to consider. And I should add that now, I will also add that I have referred a dispute for my unfair dismissal from PIC to the CCMA. Magula says the PIC lost between 400 to 500 million rand in the VBS saga. One question, what is the extent of the loss suffered by the PIC from the VBS saga? Uh, Mr. Commissioner, PIC advanced 300 million uh, and also a 50, let's say 350 million plus approximately 100, I would say 100 to 150 million. So we're talking about 500 million if uh, I stand to be corrected. So there was, because there were some rights issues that were done continually, which spoke to that uh, 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 recapitalization of the bank. Yes. So a figure of around 400 uh, to 500 will be something that, it's a ballpark figure, not specific.